Alright ladies and gents, welcome back to another AutoCAD video. This one is a special video for someone that is a subscriber that asked me to try to help them out. Alright, um, this is a wheel hub. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to create this. We're then going to turn it into a 3D model just in case that person was looking for a 3D model as well. Alright, so here were the instructions. Um, you're supposed to create a diameter circle. Okay, and you're going to click you know, pretty much anywhere on the screen. It doesn't matter. And the diameter is 11.75, or you can type it 11 and, you got to put the minus sign, 3 quarters. Okay, so you can do it fractional or you can do it decimal. Okay, um, the next direction was to do a diameter circle at the same center point. So make sure that if you hover over the circle here that you're seeing a green mark and a little plus, and you can get that. If not, hit escape and go to O snap. Uh, and you just make sure that center is checked okay so diameter circle hover over the circle you get the little center click and then it's gonna be six enter okay so we got those now the next direction is the hardest part here it's just that there's gonna be nine lug nut holes um, and they are three and one quarter inch apart and they are four and three quarters out from the center okay so what I what I would suggest is taking a line going from the center here, drawing out to the left, 4.75, so four and three quarters, or like I said before, four and three quarters. And then rather than trying to figure out, you know, you could, you could bring up a calculator and you could say, okay, there's gonna be nine of them total out here. They're gonna go like this. By the way, they are diameter nine sixteenths, okay? Um, but rather than trying to figure out by doing the calculator and doing 360 degrees divided by nine, it's every 40 degrees, then by drawing this and saying, okay, this is 180, minus 40 is 140, minus 40 is 100. Rather than doing it that way, I would go into the array command and drop this menu down and choose polar array, which is like a, a, an array. It'll, it'll copy the lines around like kind of like a clock. And it's going to ask you, what do you want to array? We want to array this line, or we could do the circle actually. Let's do the circle. Um, and it's going to say, okay, select objects. We're already done selecting, so we hit enter. And then it wants to know the center point of the array. So like I said, it's kind of like a clock. It's going to go off the middle. And right off the bat, it's going to give you six items with 60 degrees between. You can either change the degrees to be 40 or you could change the items to be 9. And if you hit enter after you type it, it should give you nine of them at 40 degrees. And then you're going to hit close array. Now the only problem with this is that, and you can delete this line, when we go to draw this in 3D, we should have drawn this on the front. Okay, so if you didn't do that, you can select everything, do control C, hit delete. That's if you were on the top. Then go to the front and do control V and paste. Okay, so we wanted that to be on the front side. Okay. Um, so right now, these circles are connected to each other because they are an array. But if you do the command called explode and you click on the circles, and you hit enter, that will explode them apart. That way they're all individual circles, okay? Now, I don't know what the depth of this is. We're just gonna guess on that because I wasn't given that instruction. Um, but let's just say that these two, well, let's, let's do all of them. Let's say everything was one inch deep. You're gonna do extrude, okay? Or you can go to your 3D tools by hitting the gear down here and going to 3D basics. I don't know if you can see that behind what I'm doing. Let me see if I can move myself for a second. All right, so down here, you're going to go to 3D Basics. All right, so let's move this back. And that's going to get you into your 3D tool, so you can see Extrude, Revolve, Loft, Sweep. In this case, select everything. And by the way, I did a 3D view, so I, I think I skipped that step. Go to Go back to Top, and then click bottom right corner of the cube there, and that's going to get you in the view you want. Select everything, Extrude. And you're just going to go in the back direction, negative one. And that should give you one inch of an offset, or one, one inch of an extrude, okay? Now, the last thing would be some subtracts. So right now, if I were to change this 2D wireframe to, say, conceptual, you'll see that everything is still solid. But going back to 2D wireframe, if I did a subtract, and the, the question is, what do you want to subtract from? I want to subtract from the big shape, and then I'm going to hit enter. 
what do you want to subtract from it? The center diameter and all the circles around it. So we're going to choose all nine. Should be 10 selections total. And then you hit enter. And now it doesn't look different on 2D wireframe because the edges are all the same. But on conceptual, you'll see that this is completed and that there's all the holes there that you need. Okay, that's pretty much it. I appreciate you guys watching. This was the Wheel Hub, and I hope that this helps that person out. All right, I will see you guys in the next one. See you later. Gotta catch them all.